Now today I'm going to do a quick little Maxima vlog. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because yesterday I detailed the car the best I could. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good compared to what it was. Now let's just put it this way. This car has not been clean since August of 2009, since we bought the car. The previous owner, the previous owner, um, they they actually cleaned up the car, vacuumed it, cleaned the rims, detailed it before they gave it to us, which is nice. But since then, it has not been vacuumed or detailed or anything. The only thing we've done to this car to make it look clean is wash it. That's it. No vacuum, no. We've tried to clean, we, we've cleaned the rims a couple of times, but just barely. And I did them yesterday, and they came out a lot better, but still not perfect. Because let's just put it this way. We bought the car with 121,000 miles. It now has 156. These rims, in between that time, have only been cleaned once and uh, barely cleaned anyways so pretty much that's thirty some thousand miles of brake dust so yeah the fronts turned out okay not perfect though back on same story back on still have some overall big improvement and I use Meguiar's excuse me I use Meguiar's um rim cleaner And let's just put it this way, they suck for cleaning tires. Clean rims really good, but tires, yes I noticed this earlier, I missed the spot. I don't know how the hell I missed the spot, but I missed the spot. Um. Oh wow. This must go. Okay, so yeah, the car looks really, the car looks clean. The paint actually looks very good on this car. I always thought the paint on this car was crap, but that's because it was always dirty. You know, looking at the paint here, you can see how glossy it is. Even up here, the paint is perfect. On our Infinity, the paint is all faded up here. Yeah, the paint on this is good. Except for the front end, you know, the hood's faded. And front bumper has no clear coat. Clear coat's starting to go on the, on the grill here. When we bought the car, um, the bumper had like a little spot of clear coat missing. Now the entire thing's gone. When we bought the car, the hood, there was a little spot up here, like probably this big. Since then, it expanded and faded the whole hood. Um, headlights, they got really yellow at one point, so then last year, I actually, um, used toothpaste, I used toothpaste and I cleaned it up, you can see this one actually turned out pretty good, what I did was, um, I toothpasted it over, wiped it off and everything, then I used some Meguiar's, I used some Meguiar's wax, from like a, a bottle that's pretty much 20 years old I used on this that wax is still good I even wax this fender with that stuff with the 20 year old McGuire's bottle that I have sitting in my garage I should get some fresh stuff yeah you can see that it just rained like a couple hours ago you can see the water beating on here and there's the car there's like no water beating that means that this car has like no wax on it. We need some wax. I need to wax it. That's been waxed for like a long, long, long time. Yeah, when we first bought this car in August of 2009 with 121,000 miles, it looked like a mint car. You would never tell that it had 121,000. Then since then, some things have happened. That, that that and that 
den right over there that I'm gonna pull out. Overall, I mean, it's not too, too bad. Not as bad as it looked as if it was. Because, let's just put, yeah, because this car looked, this car looked really, really ghetto and very trashy when it was dirty. But then ever since I got it clean, it looks actually much better. Quick little ramble there, and this paint's actually pretty good. And for a 15-year-old car with 156,000 miles, or bring your fingers across, there's little noise, and it feels pretty smooth. And a good, good, fully smooth paint job is silent. This one makes only a little bit of noise, and this car is 15 years old. Sat outside for a long, long, long time. <laughs> um, because he pretty much holds it, probably it's tired his entire life. It's starting to create some rust. We'll blame rust there. I'm gonna take care of that. And some uh, rust down here, rust over here. I'm gonna take care of that though. That's really, that's really not too bad. That's only surface rust. It's really not the big of a deal. I mean, overall, this car's actually pretty rust free. I mean, looking underneath, it's pretty solid. There's just some spots of this car that have just surface rust. Of course the exhaust completely rusted out on us uh, a long time after we bought the car. So as a new muffler and resonator, soon it's gonna need a new, um, what you call it, uh, a new stretch pipe. I think, that's what it, I think that's what it's called. Stretch pipe. Oh, I always forget the name. It's a stretch pipe. It's this pipe over here. Right over here. You can see how it's worn out on the top. Yeah, there's a little bit of noise from that. I'll show you guys that. It comes before the catalytic converter. I can't see the camera, wait. Yeah, the catalytic converter is somewhere around here. And then it has a new resonator over here. I mean, looking under the car. Low level light adjustment has to kick in. Looking under the car, it's fairly clean. There's really not much rust on this car. Yes, I know you can see the reflection. I'm wearing my crappy, sh crappy clothes. I just woke up because um, it's, it's actually like one o'clock. I just woke up. I went to sleep late last night. You know, for me, like. Summer break for me just started, and I have a cold. That's why my voice might sound a little weird. You have a cold too, and just I want to chill. So I woke up at like 12:45. Anyways, enough about that. Let's look at the interior. Interior, I dusted off the door panels, dusted off the dash. I vacuumed off this cloth. I vacuumed off the seats. I would have vacuumed here, but my shop vac, the the tube is too wide for that. Carpet here. I just want to repeat this again. This car has not been vacuumed since August of 2009. Now, this carpet was covered in rocks and dirt, salt, who knows what else, but it looks much, much better now. I cleaned and conditioned the steering wheel. Cleaned and conditioned the armrest. I washed the cup holders. And the cup holders have been like this for ever since we bought the car. So I literally physically took them out and washed them. Yeah, and um, I dusted off all of this. Headliner was already pretty clean. There's really nothing to do about that. Door jams. I cleaned them the best I could. They're not perfect though. Leave the door jams back here. Not perfect still. Back here, much better, much cleaner. Whenever I step into this car now, I always like to take off my shoes or flip flops because I don't want to. 
get this thing dirty again. Vacuumed off the seats, you can see the vacuum marks. Vacuumed off pretty much all the seats back here too and everything. Don't know what that is. Yeah, and it's pretty clean in here now. Let's go back here. The trunk, I cleaned up. Now in here it's not perfect again. Basically I pretty much did a BS detail job on this, but it's still pretty good. But anyways, um, cleaned it up in there the best I could. This was just all covered in dirt, I cleaned that all up. Vacuumed off in here. Inside here where the spare tire is, under the spare tire there was so much crap. I vacuumed out. And of course in every single video of this car you see it's always dirty. People always ask me, make a video of it clean and here you go. This part of the door jams, like you know this this part of the car and the door jams actually turned out the best. Over here is all caked in dust. And over here, vacuumed it as well, it's much better. The seats were actually very dusty, you know, you hit the seat and dust would fly out. That's all good now, I dusted off. I pretty much dusted off and cleaned off and everything of the interior. I even cleaned the engine, I cleaned this car the whole way around. Oh crap. Looks much better now. Not perfect, but there you go.